Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. And in this video, guys, I'm going to modify the BIOS on my MSI RX 580 AGB graphic card uh, live for you. So if you need to do the same or you want to do the same, hopefully this video will come very helpful for you. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's begin. Now I've already done my first five graphic cards, and I know they're working just fine. And currently I'm getting close to 30 mega hashes. And let's see what we're going to achieve with the final card, my sixth card. Um, but I believe uh, the numbers will be the same, so I'm very happy with it. From 24 all the way to 30, it's very good. So, in order to do the, uh, that, guys, you're going to need the 80 flash uh, program, uh, which I'm going to put a link in the description. You're also going to need a Polaris BIOS editor. And finally, you may need a pixel uh, patcher. I personally don't uh, need it, but if you do need it, I'll put a link on the description section. So, before we get into the actual uh, modifying, uh, let me show you how much is currently the card getting on Claymore Mining Ethereum. So let's start the let's start Claymore and see what we're getting. So you can uh, see right in front of you the change that I'm going to do, and we can see what we're going to be getting after we modify the bias. Uh, quite exciting stuff guys, I did promise I'm going to do this video for you so hopefully I will be able to achieve this uh, with my last card so you can see how it's done and uh, then you can do it for yourself as well if you want to. Now I, I do have the MSI cards but I believe this will work all across the border with the Sapphire and XFX cards. So as you can see guys I'm, uh, you know, I'm getting currently 24.6 and now let's start the bias modifying. So I'm going to close this. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open the AT flush. And I'm going to run it as an administrator, guys. Now I have uh, disconnected all my other uh, GPUs from the PC, from the rig. Uh, and as you can see, currently it's displaying that I only have one card. I personally advise you guys to do it one by one. And for me, it was easier just to disconnect all five connect one do it then you know turn off the pc could you know connect the next one and so on and so on so currently i've got the last one only connected to the rig and as you can see that's why it's showing me only one card i think this is the best way to do it and the safest probably way to do it so once the card is selected because there's no other options you click save and i've made myself a folder called bias and as you can see, I already got all the cards saved. So I'm going to click on the fifth card and I'm just going to change the number uh, to six in here. And I'm going to save the bias. Now, this is very important, guys, to do because you want to save your original bias. Just have to wait for a bit until it's done. There you have it, guys. It's done. Now, from here, guys, um, what I'm going to start is the Polaris bias. And again, I'm going to right click and run it as administrator and click yes. Now from here, guys, all you have to do is open, click open and then choose the BIOS we just saved. So I'm going to open the BIOS. Now I'm not going to do the change in here. Uh, well, I'm going to do it, but I'm not going to save it because I've already got it saved. But I'm going to show you what you have to do, guys. So you need to go down and find 11750. One, one, and you need to copy all this from here. Click right click, copy, then go to the one underneath, one two thousand. And I'm going to erase this. As you can see, it's all clear now. And then I'm going to right click and paste the numbers. So we're copying the numbers from one seven five zero to uh, two thousand. And as you can see, they are now matching numbers. And from here, guys, all you have to do is save and then save it. However, you don't save it on top of your old bias, but you save it under a new bias. So, for instance, I can put mod, mod, I can just put the letter M, which stands for modified. So, put the letter. Let me save it for you anyway, guys. And click save. So, that's down here, guys. And I'm going to close this because we're finished with that. And then we're going to go back to the AT flash. Now from here, guys, we're going to load the image. Um, however, I'm, I'm going to load the image from my first card. Uh, but I, if I want, they're identical. But I just, you know, like to have 
all of them at this with, with the same bias however you you know you can do also the same thing once you save let's say your first card bias once it's modified you can then as you can see I don't have the rest of the cards modified bias I've got only one and I just load the same bias for all the rest of the cards so going back real quickly so all you do is guys want you once you're back at the 80 flash click load image I go where is my modified bias I click on the modified bias and I click open from here I hit program now it takes a moment uh, to uh, actually program the bias so we just have to wait for a bit and now once this is done what we have to do is restart the computer so a little bit longer for you it may be faster but it does take a moment or so to uh, get the job done I know some people there's a screen that comes in front here and it shows them the progress for me personally it's not doing it I have no idea why but that's alright I just have to wait and it should be done in a moment as you can see it's uh, doing it so I can't do really anything on the screen see the program uh, went blank so it should be done any moment I say this it took the longest maybe because it's the last card and maybe because I'm showing you how it's done so as you can see it takes a bit longer the previous cards were done a little bit quicker but that's alright there you have it guys so your BIOS was programmed successfully, click OK and now it needs to restart in order to take effect so I'm gonna click yes and we're just gonna wait uh, for the for the computer to reboot itself and I'm gonna watch the, the TV screen at the back to see once it's rebooted so I can go back in and then we can continue the you know and get the cards all the way to 30 mega hashes so yeah it's all rebooted so I can now sign in so I'm back in this uh, in here guys so the first thing we're gonna do is so we can see that the modify has actually worked we're gonna start the the claymore and again the ethereum mining so I'm gonna double click on the ethereum mining and we wait and see what the numbers will show now remember guys early on it was 24.6 now I'm expecting that it should be about 27 point something uh, so about 3 mega hashes higher and then we're gonna modify a bit more in order to get it all, all the way to 30 so we're just gonna have to wait so there you have it guys close to 28 as you can see uh, that's very very good it's, it's, it dropped a bit but as I said 27 point something which is very very good and as you can see quite easy to do one thing remember guys one GPU at the time I think is the safest way just you know disconnect all of all the rest and one you know one by one so you get it all down now from here guys I'm gonna uh, start the Sapphire Tricks program which I'm used to uh, working with it and I'm gonna modify the GP clock in the memory clock and I'm gonna you know undervolt it a bit so I'm gonna change this format now you can play with these guys and probably get even a higher numbers or better voltage but this is what I personally put so 1150 with 2150 and I'm gonna do this to 100 as you can see it changed so I'm gonna change it again here and I'm gonna apply so there you have it guys 1150, 2150 and 100 so let's start again the claymore and see what the numbers will show us uh, now again with the tricks uh, where I did this to 1150 and 2150 uh, you can do your I've, I've seen some people dropping it all the way to 1100 and uh, 2000 uh, and the memory to 2200 it's up to you what you want to do I'm gonna leave it for now for me with these numbers later on I may change it and you know play around with it a bit more but obviously now I'm looking to yeah there you have it guys close to 30 uh, not exactly 30 but if I if I make it instead of 2150 to uh, 2200 I'm sure I'll get the 30 but that's you know good enough for me uh, 29.5 obviously it drops a bit it goes up and down but it more or less should be at about 29.5 so 
easily 30 mega hashes guys and as you saw yourself very easy to do not much did you know not difficult at all I think anyone can do it just take your time if you haven't done it before uh, nice and slow and you, sh you should be fine guys um, so yeah guys there you have it uh, if any of you want to give me some input uh, maybe something that you want to you know you because remember guys I'm also learning from you so if any of you are watching this video and you think that maybe I should have something slightly different or maybe I can get it you know better than 29.5 and so on feel free to comment because I'd like to learn as well you know I'm very new with these things so I'm learning each and every day so any input will be greatly appreciated not just by myself but by anyone else who is also watching the video and reading the comment section so there you have it guys 29.5 I'm personally very happy with it. Let me uh, see what the number says for one card. The voltage. Um, so currently guys, 189. And what, what I'm going to do guys is, um, I'm going to write in the description section uh, and in the comment section, what is my total voltage. And, uh, and I'm going to, put as a main picture so you can look for it as the main picture which you see on YouTube when you're searching for my channel or you're looking at the video uh, you're gonna see all six cards working and we're gonna see how much mega hashes they are getting so I'm gonna put this picture here but when I have all six cards for you on the main picture of the YouTube uh, video so you can see all six working and the total mega hashes well thank you for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video I really appreciate your help and if you like what I'm doing feel free to subscribe and share my channel and also as you know I'm also with Genesis Mining and if you want to support me in there as well guys feel free to do that uh, you can find my 3% discount code in the comment section and in the description section and I'm really grateful for all your support if you do uh, want to do that feel free also to leave me your code and I'll return the favor as soon as I can thank you for watching guys see you in the next video bye bye